Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Peace be upon all of you. I hope you're all doing well. I'm Sayyid Faris Razi, and I'll be presenting my data science capstone project that I did for IBM's professional certification under Coursera. This project is completely Python-based, where I, as a data scientist, would help clients find the best neighborhood in Winnipeg for them to open a Lebanese restaurant. The criteria would be that this neighborhood should be safe with minimal competition and surrounded by markets that serve as suppliers for the restaurant. So we first hit off by collecting the location coordinates of every neighborhood in Winnipeg. This was done with data collected from a geospatial API service from winnipeg.ca and we found there to be around 237 neighborhoods in Winnipeg. So on to analyzing these neighborhoods you'll find a nice interactive map here showing pinpoints of all the neighborhoods that we got from our data. The blue circle on the map basically surrounds the city's hub by a 6 km radius since the client may want to operate near the city hub. So the neighborhood points here lying outside our circle would be excluded. Here is a bar plot summary of the crime rate levels where downtown is expected to have the highest crime rates going all the way down to Assiniboine South, being the safest of the list of communities here. Note that a community represents a number of neighborhoods. So we shall ignore the first three here, downtown Point Douglas and River Heights, that may be dangerous for the client's restaurant. Applying this on our map, observe the yellow and red colors showing crime level intensity in a community, with red being the highest, so all neighborhood points outside the circle are now discarded, along with those in the circle like downtown here in red. Only these safe neighborhoods in the circle shall be our target neighborhoods for exploration. Alright, here is a bar plot summary of the communities we shall focus on. The bars present the number of neighborhoods per community, with St. Boniface having the most number of neighborhoods compared to the least numbers in Assiniboine South and Transcona. Next, we collect data on a list of venues located in each of our target neighborhoods, where this data comes from the Foursquare API service, a really nice API. And we summarize this data on the map, where red points here are restaurants, the green points here would be food markets or grocery stores, all located within a 500 meter radius per neighborhood. So these rings present the 500 meter radius. Keep in mind that other restaurants may be a competition for our client and supermarkets would be the suppliers for the client. So to observe our findings on the map in a bar plot, just to make things clearer, here red bars present the number of restaurants in a community, green bars present the food markets. And you can tell that Assiniboine South has the most suppliers for our client than the number of restaurants. So this community may actually be an optimal location for our client to set up their Lebanese restaurant with the least competition. And it may have the best reach for restaurant supplies as well. So this was a very short presentation. There's a lot more you can explore in my project. I hope this project was interesting. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my presentation. You can find references at the end or in the description of this video. Take care and I hope you have a good day.